Windows updates can sometimes require restarts or take time to install, and some updates consume more data, which is why you might consider disabling them. Do you know that there are two main reasons for these Windows updates? Security and enhancements. Even though it is frustrating, it is recommended to make it a habit to check for important updates regularly, especially the security patches. With that in mind, let's move to today's video. First, we need to disable the Windows Update Service, which enables the detection, download, and installation of Windows updates. For that, go to the search bar and search for services. Press Enter to open the services. Now click on any service and press W key and search for the service called Windows Update. Now right-click on it and go to Properties. Now you can see the service status as Running and the startup type as Automatic. First select on the Startup Type drop-down and select Disabled to prevent automatic startup of the service. Then click on Stop to completely stop the service. Now go to the Recovery tab and select the drop-down under First Failure and select Take No Action. Then select the Reset Fail Count as Zero Days. This will further deactivate the service from restarting. Then click on Apply and select OK. Now you can see the service status as disabled, which means we have successfully prevented Windows from detection of new updates. Next, we're going to disable the policy which specifies whether to receive the updates through Windows Automatic Updating Service, which we disabled previously. To do that, search for GP Edit and press Enter to open the Group Policy Editor. Now expand Administrative Templates, and then expand Windows Components. And scroll to the bottom. Now select Windows Update. From the right-hand side of Group Policy Editor, select Configure Automatic Updates. Right-click on it and select Edit. A dialog box will pop up. To disable this policy, click on Disabled Radio button and select Apply and press OK. Now we have successfully disabled the policy which triggers the auto-update service. To check the effect of these disabled settings, search for Windows Update and press Enter to open the Windows Update settings. Now you can see there is a comment at the top saying, some settings are managed by your organization, and at the bottom saying, your organization has turned off automatic updates, which means the update services are disabled. You can undo the changes and turn on the updates anytime you want. Now we'll be using the Registry Editor to enforce restrictions to the Windows updates since the Windows Registry stores low-level system settings. First search for Registry Editor by typing Reg Edit and press Enter to open it up. Now expand H Key Local Machine. Then expand Software.
now expand policies, then Microsoft. Finally, expand Windows. Now select on Windows and right click and go to New, then select Key, since we need to make a new subkey. Rename this new key as Windows Update. Now create a new subkey under Windows Update by following the same procedure. Rename this as AU, which stands for Automatic Update. Then select on this AU key and go to the right hand side of the registry and right click to create a new DOORD 32 bit value. Rename this value as No Auto Update. Follow the same name format. Then right click on this value and modify the number from 0 to 1. Then select OK. Now we have successfully restricted the Windows Automatic Updates. Now if you don't want to go through all procedures which were mentioned previously, there's a better way to prevent these updates. First search for Windows. Update settings and press enter to fire it up. You can always pause the updates if you don't want to disable them. Default settings, pause the updates for seven days. But if you go to the advanced settings, you'll be able to disable them for more than seven days. As you can see, it says you can disable them up to 35 days. You can disable it until 21st April from the update settings. If you want to disable them for more than 35 days, there is a way to do it through an open source software. Let us take a look at that. There is a small file you need to download. The link will be in the description. Once it is downloaded, extract the zip file. Open the WU10 man portable folder and open up the software. The software interface looks like this. It is simple. To pause the Windows updates, go to the Pause Updates tab. Now you can see there are two sections as feature and quality updates, which means you can pause them separately. To pause the updates, select a date from the calendar. Previously, we were able to disable them only for 35 days, which was until 21st April. Now let's try to disable them until the end of May, which is greater than 35 days. I will disable both quality and feature updates. Once done selecting dates, click on save to save the settings. Now it says the settings have been saved and press OK to continue. Now go to settings and you can see the updates will resume on 1st of June. Now you can pause updates for a desired time period if you don't want to use the registry hack. Hope this video helped you and see you in the next video.